In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom login page for your membership website. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a custom login page for your website because of course we don't want to use your standard WordPress login page. We want to have our own, which is uh, custom to our own website and matches what our website is about. All right, so I'm going to switch over here now to my computer. And the very first thing I need to do here is to uh, make sure I have the right image that I need for my membership website. Now there are several places you can go to online and these are like uh, pexels.com, unsplash.com and so on. So I've already gone ahead and added my image to my media library. In fact, let me just show you where it is. All I had to do was upload my image over here and uh, here it is. Okay, so this that's the image. Okay, so how do you create our login page? So to create our login page, all we have to do is to come over here to wishlist member and uh, we wanna go to advanced options. Next, we want to go to logins and then click on styling. So by default, this is not activated. You can see it's disabled. So you want to just, just activate it here. And now you can see we have quite a lot going on here. So there's a lot you can choose from. I mean, you can have a different type of styles here. And to be honest, at first, when I had a look at this, I was just thinking, okay, so how do we go in and customize this? Trust me, it's very, very easy to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this template here. I really like this one, template three. But of course, you can choose any one of these. In fact, this one here can work well as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose template one. Then I'm just going to hit save. So now you can see template one has been activated. Right. So what I may want to do now is to just take a quick look and see what the login page looks like. But before I do that, I just want to go in and make further customizations. Because notice, you can come over here on the login form itself. Uh, you can add a custom logo if you have one. And that's very easy to do. You can just click here on choose and then you can choose your logo and add it here. So once your logo is added, this is where it's going to be right here. Let's move on next to the background. And this is where I am going to add my image. So I'm going to click here on choose library and choose my file. And that's the image I'm going to go with. So over here, again, you can play around with the sizes if you need to. But uh, all I need to do here is just to add my image and pretty much that's all I need. Now, if you want to add some custom CSS, you can also do that by coming over here to this tab and adjusting everything here using custom CSS. So here on the background as well, you can also add a color. But in our case, we want to use a transparent background. So I'm just going to leave everything as it is. So with that all set, the next step now is to take a quick look and see what this looks like. So there we go. You can see now that we have our brand new login page. And as you can see, you can't really tell if it's a WordPress or not. And this looks really, really nice. So you can go ahead and make further adjustments here. So let's just keep this here on the side while we play around with further adjustments here. So I'm going to come back over here to my image. And here you can position it differently so you can center it. You can align left, top left and so on. So uh, let's see what we can do here. So, so I want to try centered and see what that looks like. Hit save. So what you'd need to do with this is as you're making changes, you want to come back over here, refresh your page and see if this looks the way you want it. So this one here hasn't made a change. It's similar to the default. So what you need to do is if you want to adjust this image and make sure you have it in the right place, you want to come over here and uh, keep playing around with the positioning. And once you have your positioning right, this is how your page is going to look. So I'm just going to save this one more time. And then let's take a quick look and see what this looks like. So I'm just going to refresh. There we go. So it's just a slight change. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's not, uh, it's nothing major. But the, mo the most important thing here is we've customized our login page. It's no longer your standard WordPress login page. So this is a quick way you can always go in and do it. And the fact that you have some templates to play around with and uh, sort of like designs that you can go with is really cool. So let's go back over here to templates. So you can go with something like this, which has a background. You can also, also go with uh, something that looks similar to this as well. So let's say uh, I choose this one. Hit save. So I just want to show you quickly how easy it is to change from template to template. So over here on the background, we, we also have to go back in and choose our image. So I'm going to go in, choose my image, 
save. Now I'm just gonna leave everything as default here because in most cases that's gonna work. Okay, so all this has been saved now. So I'm gonna look for my login page, which is right here. So now if I refresh, we now have a totally different layout. And to be honest, I'm loving this. I wish this was the one I'd chosen first. Now we can see here we are missing a logo and this can be added in our design here. So I haven't gone ahead and added it, but if you take a look here at the template, it is a very easy to add our logo. But as you can see here, there's quite a lot to choose from, as I mentioned. So go ahead, try it out, have custom login pages for your website. It looks much better. It looks more professional. So I would go ahead and do that right away. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.